Hey everybody, welcome back. We're still in the crucible. I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying myself. I'm accepting that this is probably a draw and I'll be like a concerned ear. Like you can lend someone a, a worried ear. Speak to me. What's your problem? What's, what's bothering you? I guess they don't say what's your problem. <laughs> That's why English is so messed up. What's bothering you? Very supportive. What's your problem? is actually like, those are fighting words. That's like the first thing you say when you're like, it's the thing you say just before you fight somebody. As an English teacher, uh, briefly, I'm thankful I was teaching ESL. So if I ever got up to the level where I was trying to teach like, uh, well, I, was, I, mean, I should say I'm thankful that I was teaching little kids. So if I ever got to the level that I had to explain what like a bird is, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, if I had to explain that idiom, I would be like, well, you know, that what it's, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, every language has idioms, I'm sure. I wouldn't know because I'm an idiot. I only speak one. A little bit of Korean. Cholgum. I speak Cholgum. Hanguk ma moteyo. Shila hamida huajang shil odieyo. Chogyo, make you do beyond you say, oh. Pojang. That's to go. I don't know if they do to go beers in Korea, but. It's the thing, even when you get them to go, you, as you get a little older, I'm tapping my midsection, they always stay with you. I don't, I'm just, let's play the game, okay? I'll take a dromedary to fill space. I'll take a moth, because it's not half bad. And then, um, I mean, realistically, this is probably our best play for this round, but I don't think it's a, a big play either way. I think the best thing you could get is, is meat and put it on the dromedary maybe, but I think we're, we're doing just fine. You got me. That's the, the value of an Osprey. It's, it's best before date is like two rounds from when you buy it, but it's, it's certainly not bad. Now I would, I would just add you on top. I would definitely take a door head ant and add some meats to it. We'll level you up next time. Let's give the dromedary some meats as well. We're gonna organize our squad like this, and now I feel a little bit more confident, honestly. Holy bursh. <laughs> the strength of that marmoset. The lion, the witch, and the audacity of that marmoset. Anyway, we still won. So that's I, I shouldn't be complaining, I suppose. Our level gives us a porcupine. A porcupine, I think, is a sometimes unit this week. Um... I'm really not thrilled with our current setup, but hang on. If the only way we can scale the porcupine right now, very important, is to leave it in the shop so we can get a little bacta, and then that could at least make it like midterm useful. I don't think it has much uh, chance of success long term. I mean, we're winning these by, like, you know, inches. We're not winning them by miles right now. That could make it useful in the medium term. I think you getting uh, dromedary would be nice as well. I would completely be content just sending another door head ant out there. Just, I mean, it's, you should go to the front. You should take some honey. Roll me. And roll. Maybe we should have frozen meat. We can freeze garlic again. Because garlic on a 710 porcupine might make it able to one for one for a couple rounds. It's not gonna it's not gonna last forever. I'll accept my draw. But it for three or for I guess for six gold at this stage of the game, I don't think it's a horrendous buy. Let's just start off with this and see how we fare. You getting dromedaried. It's an interesting idea. So I think we'll go porcupine. Take some of this. We can't afford anything else. Well, we will combine these door head ants at some point. I promise. But by the time we combine them, it's probably going to be to get a level and then sell them off. Basically, our whole squad is sellable right now. <laughs> Don't skunk me. Lest you be skunked yourself, okay? Oh, you're so freaking lucky. <laughs> or are you? Or are you? Or are you? You are! You are! Okay. One small order change there, and I think we're doing okay. But wait, well, alas, we did not change order, so... 
something like that. Keep the triceratops in there. Keep it in there. It's, it's not looking great right now, I'll admit, but a triceratops being, what, it's going to be a 10, 11 when it gets spat out? You killed, you killed my, my bee after you killed my crocodile? It just, it's just uh, rude more than anything else. It's a draw, isn't it? After all that we've been through. Okay, this feels like we have very limited upside. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Um, you're at 10-11. None of our units are doing anything at all. Let's get you out of here. Let's put you in here. Let's give you some of that. Skunk is too good to deny, even if it seems like... Let me put it this way. It probably seems bad that we just sold our doorhead ant, but at the same time, I feel like if we keep it up, our maximum ceiling of wins is like right where we're at right now. If we get rid of it, we may... Our, our average run might be worse, but our best possible run gets a little bit better, I think. I think we take a step backwards to possibly take a leap forwards. Now, it's, it's hard to not just go straight into, like, Miracle Ball. And basically just play this immediately. Hope for a donut. I actually think two skunks is the way. No donut. Oh, I mean, that's really good. This is also really good. Next round, this is such a horrible looking team. Next round, level two elephant, level two skunk, and then some prayer. We're toasted here, but just, we, 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 that's not a surprise. Let's put it that way. We've pivoted to this elephant so late. It's actually not, I mean, it was, we we're off by a lot, but not as much as I would have thought. Give me this first, then a level to see what we get. Then this. We do want to see a donut. I and mean, we gotta, the pivot has to be so fast. I'm gonna take an alpaca just because it's available. And then I, I have a hard time <laughs> seeing us even winning one more, but we've got some scaffolding in place at least. That might have saved us from just getting bodied by the hippo over and over. So there's, there's, oh, dude, I think with that, that miracle elephant might have actually saved us right there. Okay, hear me out. Sell me. This be, just be careful because we're not selling an We're not selling anything else on the squad. Place the triceratops. The triceratops hits level two. Place a tiger, and I know you're like, why do this instead of placing a second alpaca? Because I'm not willing to sell my skunk or my elephant, okay? It's, it's very touchy right now. Okay, and then we got a level two alpaca coming in next turn. Holy cow. I still, we haven't made that many improvements overall, but if we could just get a donut on our elephant, we got a chance, man. See, uh, it took the wind out of my sails pretty quick. Or did it? Or did it? Or did we got a draw? Let's go! <laughs> it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, but... Okay, donut? I know your next obvious question, and it's a good one, is, but what's the point? You know, like, why, why do you have an alpaca at this point? Well... Smart question. I didn't have an answer ready for that question. It's a very smart question. Hang on, I lived. Hang on, I lived. Oh, <laughs> I'm still living. I'm still living the tiger. It really is the eye of the tiger. It really is the eye of the spider. It's poison in one bite. Six wins. Six wins and I'm feeling great. Let me get a... I mean, if I'm not going to get a donut, we should have garlic. But I'd much rather have a donut. All we need is one more skunk to make this worthwhile. 
Give me my skunk back. How is this gonna work? Better milk! <laughs> And you've already used both of your triggers. So we, we admittedly could sell you and buy a hammerhead shark. We'd get three gold back next time. I think I'd be willing to do that because we're not on lethal. Also sells back better. That's true. If we want anything. We want our skunk back. Actually, the cow is still pretty good in its own right. It's going to replace the chocolate. That's the only reason I got rid of it. We're still looking for this freaking donut though, dude. No skunk is gonna is gonna really hurt. It's gonna sting. Some wasted stats, but you know what? The Triceratops stays winning. Never mind. It stays losing. Come on, summon some garbage. It's not garbage, it's a draw. I, I'm so happy with my draw here. You don't even know. And I'm realizing that at some point, we gotta get a walrus out here. Level 3 Tiger. Psychotic mode. And keep in mind, whatever you summon now is going to come out as level 1. So it should be something that's useful enough in its own right. <laughs> like the Triceratops that then buffs the Triceratops that then buffs the Triceratops that then... Listen, I think a walrus would be better, but this is kind of funny. This would be a great turn to get a donut. I'm not that concerned about an orca. I'm always concerned about a cow. Bro, you literally like just have to give me a walrus. That's it. I'm not even worried about a... a whoa, walrus. Let me check something real quick. That's, I just went back to my previous replay because I never used the interface in this game. Have we ever gotten a level 3 alpaca win? Yes, we have. Okay, so there's no pressure to get a level 3 alpaca. Yes, there is. Well, 3 XP is, is kind of an odd number. I think 2 XP is like the dream. I'll keep this frozen just because I, I don't... Think without, well, you could just sell, listen, I, listen, okay? It's complicated. So every time this Triceratops gets hit, it's going to generate 1818. That's pretty good. It, I mean, it's going to be spread out, but still. And we still got so far to go until first play, or until 10 wins. Like, sell me? I'm not willing to sell anything else to make space. Except I would love to put a PETA on you. Maybe it's not relevant. Spit out two death. I mean, we could always just... No, it's got to be. It's got to be like this. We're basically trying to create some 50-50 death touch units. Or at least some, some very, very strong and annoying death touch units. Mission accomplished. It's better if it doesn't land. Wow! Jamie Lee mode! <laughs> it's better if it doesn't land on the Triceratops just because it could die to the elephant to begin with. Things are just a little scarier than I thought. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was just going to say, I would sell you to put a Pteranodon out there. Even though it's not hyper relevant. Spreading out the death touch to guarantee it hits everybody, I guess, is... I'm willing to give it a chance here. I mean, I think we're going to lose. <laughs> I think we lost. <laughs> I can't believe we only got seven wins on that one. Well, I kind of can because of how late we pivoted, I guess. But anyway, I, I had fun regardless. It's just funny. I, I thought we were destined for 10. I didn't think anything could stop us. I stopped looking for donuts at some point and went straight for uh, Death Touch instead. That might have been the wrong idea. 
but whatever. But it was no big deal. Had a great time. Enjoyed myself immensely. Round one, we don't sweat with two cockroaches. Round two, nothing, nothing can stop us. We're going full the mom in Freaky Friday mode. Who's the mom in Freaky, Fri Freaky Friday again? Freaky. Um, it's Jamie Lee Curtis, I believe. Well, technically it's Lindsay Lohan. It depends whether we're talking about the body or the spirit because the movie's, the premise, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil anything, but a, a mom and her daughter swap uh, brains. or They swap bodies, I guess, depending on your frame of reference. Snail. A waste of everybody's time. Two snails. Now you got my attention. I'm, I've seen the error of my ways. <laughs> Guess I'll add you just to have something on the team. And freeze an elephant, because just we know how good an elephant can be. This is bad. I didn't think this through when I froze two snails. But think about the stats that we could receive after this horrendous loss. And I'm going to try to go a little psychotic here. I'm going to go level 2 snail, possibly. Simply a possibly. And the order, I think the order is fine. We got to get a level 3 squirrel win at some point. That one's going to, we'll save that for a scaling weekly. We're not losing this one, man. Snails. Okay, well this is... This is the pivot then. You're gone. You're in. You're in. I almost feel like we could run elephant second. Run squirrel first because it's the least valuable unit on the squad. No disrespect. Okay, in that case, sell squirrel. Run uh, baboon. Elephant should live to do more attacks. Guinea fowl with garlic would also go crazy. Guinea fowl with, more, with broccoli would go crazy. A second baboon. Eight, so we got two squirrels frozen. We got, we got the whole shops frozen. That's exactly what we were looking for, okay? I don't, I don't know what we sell to make this work, but we, we got a potential elephant guinea fowl into elephant uh, full send. I'm getting very excited. I mean, a 6'6 six, six dog by itself is pretty scary. We're not even going to get to see it? Why would you do that to me? I think that what we're looking for is sell... Right, you should get sold. The, the moth has utility later. Something like this. And then, why not? Unfortunate three rolls, but it's after we were out of options. Okay, now we, come, we, we probably sell the moth next turn. We're looking for a tier four to help us. And you know what the... My squad. My squad. It might actually be fine. We're still going to get a lot of hurt triggers. A lot of hurt triggers. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We take those. Um, we survive till tier six, and maybe your baboons carry you. Is another. It's another strat, man. I'm sorry. We we took a gamble on you. It didn't work out. Tier fours have to come out. Pop you down right there. Give you some of this, baboon, please. No baboon. I just feel like salad is way less likely to be useful than what's basically a better bee. And we're just trying to stay... S oh, that's a very strong unit. <laughs> See, we're just trying to stay stable until... Um, until tier 6, when hopefully like we can get some baboons out there, start scaling some stuff. Like, the baboons feel to me like they unlock the lioness, and the lioness unlocks everything else. Maybe it's an overly simplified way of looking at things, but... That's how I'm looking at it. Maybe I'm a simple kind of man. Very important. Honestly, this strat, if we're being real with one another, this strat is not working. I'm going to unwind the elephant and add a skunk. The skunk might steal a buff. So be it, brother. I'm not, I'm not spending three gold on a donut for one turn. That's the price you pay for not paying attention. This is definitely, it seems like a critical freeze to me. 
Not really love it. Cans are too slow to me. Not really loving the idea of a dragonfly when our whole squad is level one. Unfortunate. Their hippo's gonna eat me alive. Unless, unless possibly my dog. No, my dog's not gonna be strong. Maybe, no, it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go, um, who, who played Lori in Halloween? You know how she like refuses to die in those movies? That's what the mode that we're gonna have to go here in order to, in order to stand a chance. And we gotta go shark mode, I would say as well. Not interested in you, sorry. So we're on tier five, we need the baboon to buff the shark. We're still running hippo position one. There's a little prayer involved there. No doubt about it, no doubt about it. So what's the play? Um, maybe we should have gone deer as well to give our shark an, a little extra purchase. So hope, hope we don't run into any crocodiles. Okay, mission, mission one successful. This, just surviving an extra round gives us more time to get to tier six. At which point our level one baboon is expected to carry us. Okay. You know what you do. Send some buffs in here. Monkey on hippo, even if it takes a baboon. No, but you can't ever get rid of the skunk. So don't take a monkey. Don't, don't, don't spread yourself too thin here. Take the hippo. You're an amazing unit for tier six. I'm willing to hope that the cow doesn't take the buff. Okay, it's just a, it was a one-two buff. We're not selling a, a, a four-six unit to avoid it. Oh no, the scorpion, how dare you? Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. We still got there. They're pro they got a level three elephant. They're just with a donut on it at the back. They're just waiting for triceratops. But, but they did not get the triceratops right there. So we say we say pog to that. Now, what do we get rid of? Honestly, I mean baboon or shark. I think now, like we we might have to embrace the fact that as much as I wanted to get the tier six to make the baboon pop. Not getting a level two by then is like a deal breaker. Now there's a part of me that thinks maybe you could try to run double lioness in these two positions. And there's a part of me that thinks that's unlikely. Then there's a part of me that thinks that death touch is kind of like a great equalizer there. And then there's a part of me that thinks that double lioness is just fun to do regardless. And we've had a lot of attempts this weekly just in general. So why not mix it up and, you know, just let, let caution go to the wind a little bit. I'm not even sweating. So you see a 40-40 on the front line, you know you're in trouble. Give me a pita and then hope that the walrus doesn't override it. I guess we could guarantee that with a donut. We're, we're still in miracle ball status. We need a lot more to, to survive, much less get four wins before our next loss. Hang on, though. No. Hang on. Our squad's built nicely for this. We're gonna make it through this one. It's dude, we haven't had too many stinkers this week. For the amount that we've played, our disappointing runs have been like six, seven. We haven't had like, it's not like every run has been a 10 piece, but still. Tyranodon is important, possibly. I was literally just about to say, I hope we get another donut and we can guarantee that at least like the PETA still has a chance to work. We're just prioritizing death touch on units that don't already have potentially useful equipment. My Tyranodon! It's unfortunate. It probably doesn't change things for them. It is unfortunate. Holy cow, though. It has a very strong um, guinea fowl. It's not strong enough, though. Hippo stays winning. That takes us to eight. Now, level two skunk would go insane here. I'd just like to see if there will be a level two skunk. There isn't, but... Pop this on you first. Level two walrus would also go crazy, although it would override the pita, which actually might be like a deal breaker. As it would override the pita as long as we have the pteranodon, but... Don't worry about that. Just, just worry about staying in front of things. We got a summon build. I would say a summon build is like the ideal build for us to go up against right now. Although the fact that the orca spit out something with death touch could throw a bit of a monkey wrench into it. They're gonna get one more shot. Don't hit my Pteranodon. 
That's ideal. We're going to be fine. Okay, we got to nine. Level two skunk. Very nice. Very important. You feel like you kind of got to buy something. <laughs> but what do you replace? I don't think you could replace anything. There's no point in donutting you because it's still going to overwrite the hippo as soon as we get the walrus level. I guess we could give you some stats for this turn. It's, I mean, we're on super lethal. Even though we used a carrot like an apple. Point and laugh. He used a carrot like an apple. Lull. Okay, this is deadly because we, we did not... Uh, get our pita to work, which means we're just toast. It's fair enough. I'm still, I'm not disappointed with nine. I'm less appointed than I would be if I got 10, but still a fun run. I think we've really demonstrated our ability this week to understand it because we pulled a run that was not very good up into the nine category. If you like that, click the like button. That helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future and I'll see you next time. See ya.